Howdy guys, it's Joe, and today I want to talk to you guys about how to become the best day one Sombra, or at least how to improve a lot the day that Sombra comes out. Now, of course, Sombra is not out yet. This is, you know, a guide for people that want to become good at whatever the character becomes in the future. And basically, this is just a guide for whenever a new hero comes out. You can come back to this guide, see, you know, what I should be doing when a new hero comes out, kind of how to prepare, and, you know, what to do day one when they are coming out. And it's a pretty simple thing. A lot of people think of this, but this is just a bit of a reminder and, you know, some, some stuff that you can kind of listen to if you want to be very good at least better than the average player when the character does come out. So let's get straight on to the few tips that I have. So the first thing I want to say that you should probably do when Sombra or any other new character comes out is to take them to the practice range and really try out their kit. Now I know that when the character comes out, you'll just want to spam them in a ton of quick play, spam them in some ranked, maybe get you some free ELO, or you know, just get a lot of fun in quick play games. But if you want to become any good at the character, I'd say take them to the practice range, try out their hitboxes, get used to their aim, and kind of figure out what they can do versus moving and non-moving heroes alike. This is very, very important. It just really increases your aim, increases your game knowledge, and it gives you a very good feeling about your hero and can kind of tell you a little bit more than, you know, a reveal the trailer could tell you or just watching another day one guide. You can get a lot of information for yourself and you can improve a lot yourself on the first day. And you feel like you can just kind of figure out how your hitboxes work a lot better against non-moving targets or against, you know, the big dummy targets than against people like Tracer that are flashing all the way around the field. That can be a little bit kind of confusing to get used to. Um, now, the thing after that that I also want to talk about is that right after you're done, you know, practicing, maybe for about 30 minutes to an hour, is to take your character to the custom game range and try out some interactions between, you know, Sombra and some other characters. For example, you know, you could try out Sombra versus Mercy, you could try out Sombra versus, like, Reaper, uh, you could try out Sombra versus, like, Ferris, see how they interact, see who really has the upper hand, and what situations you have the upper hand. Now, of course, this will take a lot more time, and really, I just recommend this, you know, try to face off versus the characters that you're probably going to see most often. For example, if Sombra does turn out to be a tank, try her out versus some of the other frontline people. If she turns out to be a support, try her out versus, you know, some of the tanks and some of the other supports. And as well as she's an offense, try her out versus some of the offense, some of the supports, see how to get some kills, you know, go from there, go from there. Just try out the character alone, and if you really have any questions about how her kit will work, exactly what, you know, all the interactions are going to be, I'd say try them out, as learning them from quick play games or learning them from ranked games really will take a lot longer than, than just simply trying these things out in, you know, your custom games. Now, it might not be quite as, you know, exhilarating, but I feel like it's really cool to learn about the character, and if you want to become the best, it's a really nice way to do that, and it just helps you get a lot better a lot faster than just chucking yourself at a ton of quick play games right as they release. Now, of course, another thing I want to say is that when the character comes out, try to figure out what type of character she is. For example, again, Sombra. Now, if Sombra's an offensive character, will she sneak around to get kills, be kind of an assassin? Will she play on the front line or play kind of mid-range? A lot of times during these reveal trailers, they don't really say way too much about the character or when you really see the character front, you know, for the first time. Uh, such as Soldier 76, you know, they say he's going to be like a far-range sniper character. Well, not really sniper, but, you know, a further-range McCree. Uh, that didn't really work out at all. Now you have to play him really weirdly mid-range, and maybe the same type of thing will happen with Sombra. You really gonna have to kind of figure out how her playstyle works. Now you want to try out many different playstyles and see what one really fits you the best. Of course, even if you're a support, you can see if you want to, you know, go for a little bit more damage as a support. If you want to stay right next to your tanks as a support, you know, give them the boosts or whatever you do. Or if you want to stay really far back, there's a lot of different playstyles you should probably try out. And I said that this is a really good thing, as it just, you know, kind of helps you figure out your playstyle. And once you figure out kind of how you're supposed to play, it'll make you play a lot better every game. If you know that you're supposed to be up in the front line, then of course you're going to be up in the front line. While if you didn't put in the time to learn your playstyle, you're just going to be all over the place, really not doing way too much for your team, as everyone else is already playing characters that they know because they've been playing people like Reinhardt, you know, for months. So you do kind of want to figure out that really early on, and they'll make you a lot better early on. And of course, another thing that I want to say is a lot of people, you know, day one, they'll say exactly how a character is supposed to be played. And then you really shouldn't play that character like that. Like, I heard for a lot of people with, you know, um, Anna, actually, they were like, never use your right-click, just run around and try to flick shot a lot with your, uh, you know, healing projectile, because it's a big projectile, so it's easy to hit. But in the end, you want to stay pretty far back, you know, snipe the enemy and snipe your team with your right-click, as it has a bitter, uh, bigger to, and easier to hit hitbox. So, you know, sometimes, you know, what other people say early on won't be exactly right. But at least you can get kind of an idea, and of course if you get an idea for yourself, then of course that's really the best thing you can do. Don't always listen to everyone else's ideas, try your own, and do try out everyone. Just try to learn the playstyle as well as you can. Now I think I'd say after you do all of that, is maybe after you know 10 or 12 hours after you know a streamer has been streaming for a long time, a high level streamer, like you know top 500, top 1000 streamer, Go watch a stream for a little bit and see kind of how they're playing the character. See the tips that they're going to give off as these streamers usually give off quite a bit of tips and try to learn from them. 
However, don't think that their tips and their opinions are 100% law day one. Of course, these streamers are probably going to be having a better idea than you, than me, than most people because, you know, they have a lot of time in the game. They have very good game sense, very good game knowledge, very good mechanics. But at the same time, they can't know everything day one. They've only been playing for like 10, maybe 12 hours. So, of course, they can be a really good source of knowledge. I would definitely recommend that. It'll help you a lot. But don't take it as 100% law. And, of course, their opinions may change over time. And those are pretty much the things you can do exactly when the character comes out. You can try them out, figure out the hitboxes, figure out how to play them, figure out their play styles, figure out how other people are playing the character, and then just go on your merry way playing them. And I'd also recommend, you know, after you first get the character, maybe play them at least 10 to 20 hours before you pull them into any ranked games. Don't go straight on to pulling them into ranked games or else you're really going to kind of screw up your team. Now, of course, if the character is, you know, really overpowered, maybe you can pull this off, you know, if they're just an extremely broken character. But, you know, if they're average or, you know, like above average, like Anna, maybe don't pull them out day one as, you know, they won't really be able to carry you. And other people have been playing their characters for months again. So, you, your one day character, even if they're really good, probably won't be able to beat, you know, like a six month Genji main, if you know what I'm saying. Now, as far as, you know, some stuff that you can do right now, I'd say mainly all you can do right now is practice your game knowledge and your main mechanics. Um, now, if you can, even today, you can play someone that is pretty hard to aim with, like, you know, McCree, a uh, Tracer that's moving around, or Hanzo, and just try to get your aim down just a little bit more, as we don't really know exactly what type of aim this new character is going to be, Sombra, but we can say that, you know, you're gonna want to have really good aim. You want good aim as every character, and I just recommend always improve your aim, always go for some better aim. And especially for Sombra's case, as she does seem to have an Uzi, which usually act kind of like submachine guns, which, you know, Tracer kind of has with her pistols, I would say practice Tracer a little bit. See kind of how her little guns work. Of course, you know, Sombra won't be exactly the same as Tracer, but I feel like she will be at least somewhat similar with her gun. It is most probable as they both are kind of submachine gun type things. So maybe practice that out. See if you can become, you know, even half decent at those and try to just improve your mechanics and try to just improve, you know, your aiming. Try to get better at that even before the character comes out as that will help you a lot when you're trying to improve as a character after they already came out. And then finally, the final thing I'd say to become the best day one Sombra is actually something that may be a bit counterintuitive is to not play Sombra every single game, especially if you're in ranked. Now I have, you know, twofold reasons for this. The first one is that if you play her every single game for like 10 hours in a row, it can get a little bit boring. You might get a little bit, you know, kicked out, a little bit tired of the character. But the main reason that I'd say for this is that if, for example, she's a support character, then you should probably play her as support. If she's an attack character, you should probably play her as attack. If she's, you know, a tank character, play her when a tank is needed. If you're playing Sombra and she's like an attack character, when you already have two other attack characters, you're really not going to be having way too much fun with the character. And as well with that, you won't really be helping your team at all with this character. Now, this especially applies to ranked. If you're just spamming out Sombra, you're not really helping your team, and you're not really getting practice with an actual team comp, an actual good team comp, so you're pretty much not getting very useful practice as your character in the first place, not really helping yourself in the first place. So well, with this, it'll just lower your rank if you just keep losing with the brand new character that you're not very good at. And I'd just say that when the character does come out, you know, you definitely try them out. Play them in a lot of quick play games, but if you want to play them in a bit of rank, only play them when the character really fits, and don't really try to, you know, shove them into every Every situation as that'll lead to a lot of losses on your account and that'll just make it a little bit annoying to play Sombra in the future as you'll be a lot lower than you normally would have been otherwise. But that's about all I have to say about this. This just really applies to any character in the game, just kind of how to improve as a new character as fast as possible. Now as well with this, you don't have to try to improve as fast as possible. There's a lot of people that like to play kind of casually, that they want to play, you know, the character just for fun, play on quick play, not really become any good at her, but just have a lot of fun with the character, play the Halloween event, play only quick play, and that is completely fine. I completely recommend that choice if you do decide to go for that route, but if you want to become good at the character, you want to main the character, or not even main the character, just become good at her very early on. These are some of the steps that I would recommend and some of the pre-precautions that you can go for. And yeah, this does apply to any character. But now that I've said my own tips, what are you guys going to do when the new character comes out? And what are you going to do to prepare for the new character? Of course, that being Sombra. There's a lot of different stuff that we can go for. There's a lot of different ideas. And I want to hear your own in the comment section below. Try to help each other out and try to get each other ready for that day one Sombra. As I know, I'm going to be trying to play her. I want to become pretty good as this character. Try her out, do as well as I can, and I want to know your own guys' opinions in the comments section below. Anyways, if you did enjoy, of course, as always, leave a like, leave a comment, and press the subscribe button if you want to see any more tip videos or any more news videos as I do really mainly those two things on this channel. With that all said, thank you all for watching, and as always, have a wonderful day.